Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Packs MTG. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like the video, leave me a comment to get in on the giveaways. What we have today, I can only describe to you as pure pound town. These are sealed. It says it has this stuff, but we already know what's going to happen. But we can't resist because we absolutely love the pain. So here we go. This is a... Three booster packs, two foil promo cards, one bonus item, which looks like it's a random D20. I don't know. And you can get a mystery pack. Uh, maybe that means it's like a better one of these better packs. I don't know why Theros Beyond Death is considered. I mean, they're okay, but it's whatever. We know we're going to Pound Town. <clears throat> I took one of these. Um, then I got four other victims to ride the Pound Town train with me. So let's kind of let's kind of mix these up some. Do it like this. We're going to open these and see how bad it actually is. I don't know. They're slightly randomized. Um, first up will be Richie. So, is this going to be a big oof? Or will one of us get lucky and get one of the uh, the better packs out of it? I'm curious what the bonus, like what kind of bonus items we can get. Does anybody... Anybody have any clues? So here we go. All right. Looks like we have a Throne of Eldrain pack. It <clears throat> looks like we have a Japanese Strixhaven set booster. And then we have War of the Spark. So not a terrible assortment of packs. And then our promo, we have a Veto. And we have a Scoot Swarm. I guess those could have been worse. At least those aren't, at least it's not a curator of mysteries, am I right? And then, um, this looks like one of the free decks that they hand out at your LGS to get you to learn how to play Magic. The first hit's always free, that's how they get you hooked. But Richie, let's see how you fare in your three packs. We're going to start off with War of the Spark. Um, lots of cards in here are worth quite a bit now. The finale of Devastation is uh, leading the pack. This thing is extremely hard to open. And the good news is this is a Belgian pack. You can tell by how it's sealed. It has the uh, the language right there as well. And we can double check it here and it says made in Belgium. So you can tell just by how they're sealed where the packs were printed. So this will have the nice card stock. A lot of people feel like the, the Grazer is like a buck, right? A lot of people feel like the Belgian printing or the Belgian packs they have better hits. I can't tell you one way or the other. Roll Reversal um, is not one of the better hits. We're going to go uh, Throne of Eldraine Your Wallet. I cannot open these things. Bro, what is going on? Here we go. Pack 2. It's a Throne of Eldraine. Still lots of value in this set. This set pretty much broke standard. This was the nail in the coffin for standard. Doom foretold Wolf's Quarry. It's like they release a set and they're like, ban it. Ban it all. And the Japanese Trick Saving. We got a chance for a big hit in this one. Um, you know, the Mystical Archive could produce a toot. And we will definitely take it. Here we go. We got the Cauldron. Another rare. Oh, not bad at all. That's a... Whoa! Sheesh! Well, that's a hit, my dudes. That completely saved Richie's Bacon. The Golem, and then on top of the Golem, we hit a Swords to Plowshares in the Archive. Um, and two rares. That's a... In Crack and Pack's terms, since we got four rares, that's what we call the Quadfecta. Congrats, Richie. It looked like a surefire trip to Pound Town, uh, but you have been redeemed with a list card out of a Japanese Strixhaven set booster pack. What a way to pull it out. Next up is Mike EZ. Let's see if we can get lucky this time. So by blind stroke of luck, Richie got a really, really nice list card let's see what happens here this one has different artwork oh interesting we got the uh the strix we have the war of the spark again this one looks a little 
Corset 2020. Oh, hello. Vito again, but I had no idea Nick's Lotus had a promo. Um, people are, I feel like this card is very, like people completely forgot about Nick's Lotus. I think it's completely being slept on. And our bonus item is a, uh, I don't even know what this is. This is a, uh, one of the silver border decks. I don't know when, where, or why this thing, what, what, or is this the, uh, or is this one of the jump starts? I have no idea. You guys will have to let me know what that is because I'm, I'm confused right now. So let's throw this stuff back in here. That, uh, that Nick's Lotus promo is pretty cool. Let's start off with War of the Spark again. It is a Belgian pack. So, I mean, for the pack value, I don't know. Like, most game stores are charging five or six bucks for a pack of War of the Spark now. Shoo! There we go. ka -chow. Three mana T. Let's go, baby. So, Mike's starting off okay with a good hit. Um, I guess I guess the the how you feel about these is going to be the hits you get at because most game stores charge five or six bucks for a pack of War of the Spark these days. Uh, Strix Heaven Strix Heaven Japanese Set Booster four bucks and a Core Twenty Twenty Pack probably four or five bucks. Um, couple promos. I mean, it's, it, if you like the acrylic container, a lot of people really like these acrylic containers. You know, the twenty dollar price tag that's on these. You may not sting too bad if you get a couple decent hits out of your packs. Just saying. It's still pretty it's still pretty bad. But it's not as bad as it could be. Artemis. All seen. Or Atemis. Atemis. I'm gonna call him Artemis. And let's go Japanese strip saving. Last box we opened was redeemed by the list card. It also had a pretty decent uh, Japanese Mystical Archive. Ooh, we got the Prismari. We double mythic. What is going on here? That's Mavenda. Oh my goodness. Tefri's Protection. And a, a list card too. What is what, Weather the Storm? Is that what we've got here? Wow. These Japanese Strixhaven packs have been unreal, my dudes. Let's go. Um, yeah, the Japanese Strix Haven has been really been saving, um, saving these boxes or containers or, um, whatever you want to call these things, but, uh, yeah, two for two, uh, wound up in our favor somehow, or at least closer in our favor. There's way worse ways to light $20 on fire. At least you get a little bit of a mystery or fun out of these. It says the mystery packs are seeded one and four. I have five of these here, so we'll see how uh, see how lucky we get. Um, next one up is my man, Evan. Can our luck continue? So far, we have been extremely lucky. I don't know how. I don't know why, but I'll take it. That also, we actually got a little bit of luck in that uh, last random buy video I did where I bought it was a Facebook random buy from like a local game store out of Florida uh, we, we actually came out pretty good on those too um you get a 17 free deck Sparky 20 strict saving and oh your promos is Cogla and a Nyx Lotus I'm okay with those two completely okay with those two let's start things off with War Spark as we have thus far and keep that train rolling. Um, last pack had a, a Teferi in it. That guy was so unfair. So good, so unfair. And Enter the God Eternals. Not a terrible card. This actually saw a lot of play uh, during the standard, right at the end of it. And I think people forgot how good Core 2020 was. Um, this set has all the Cavaliers in it. A few other really good cards. Didn't this one have the Ley Lines in it as well? Ferocious Pup. If Elon Musk tweeted a picture of that dog, Shiba Inu and Doge would go to the moon again. Dread Presence. I always thought those were a really cool card that just never caught on. Um, maybe one day. Maybe one day Dread Presence will see its, uh, see its day. And can the Japanese set tendies 
pull out a W again. Our lesson is a rare, so we're going to at least get two rares in this pack. We got the Snarl. I think Snarls are being slept on. Shock. Could have been better. Not too bad, though. Double rare with a Shock alternate art. First one, I, I feel like that's the first one that we really took. We really took a hit on. Sorry about that, Evan. But we knew going in what we were getting ourselves into. This is just to have fun. So everybody, that anybody that's curious about it, like, well, maybe, you know exactly what's in here. You know your odds. And uh, like I said, we just like, you know, we just, we just like the pain. So Tyler, you're up, my dude. What do we have here? Ooh, is that a commander deck or is that a Shadows Over Innistrad pack? Okay, okay, okay. War of the Spark and a Strix Haven. All right, is this going to be a If this is a big block of lands, if this is a big block of lands, oh my goodness. So, Tyler, I don't know if you needed basic lands, but they just gave you like a hundred of them, or at least, what is that, probably 75? Why would you do in there? Dragons of Tark here. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. And we got Scoot Swarm and Vito for our promos again. That is such a weird thing to put in there. A pack of lands. Like, that's real, that's real feel bad territory. I wonder if, like, when they're seeding these, like, because this is going to be, this is going to be what they call the mystery or, like, the, the juiced pack, the bonus pack. I wonder if they're like, well, since they're getting this, we're going to give them a, a block of basic lands. Oh, man, that's, that's bad manners. That's bad manners, MJ Holdings. Let's go back to the commander ones we had a few months ago. Those were fun. We'll take those any day of the week. Wow. Wow, wow, we wow. Holy cow, these uh these War of the Spark packs have been something else. Um we've been extremely lucky with the hits here. This could have been an absolute massacre um as far as like value wise, but we have actually hit pretty good. We're gonna open this Shadows over Innistrad first. A lot of the cards out of the set have went up, of course, you know, because we're back to Innistrad. And uh, Fortified Village, Gossip Monger, and a Clue. So, there you go. A little, little extra land action there. And can the Japanese Strixhaven bring us to the Promised Land? Or will we be eating tacos with the rest of the goldfish in Rudy's basement? Here we go. We have the, uh, I can't remember what this one is. Um, snakeskin veil and nothing else, nothing crazy there. So Tyler, Tyler took an L2, unfortunately. And last but not least myself, I feel like if I get something decent out of this, I'm going to probably give it to Tylen, Tyler or Evan. I can bind their names. Tylen. How about that? But if I get something decent out of this, I'll probably split it between uh, Evan and Tyler since they... They took it pretty hard. Since they volunteered. Oh, man. War of the Spark. Japanese Strix Haven. Another Shadows Pack. So if you get a Shadows Pack, you're going, you're dead. Scoot Swarm and Vito. So that is how they're doing it. They're like, if we give you a good pack, you're getting a chunk of lands. F you. Land time. feels the worst. How are you going to get somebody lands? I would rather just have like a random handful of, I don't know what, man. Give me, they could throw, they could throw a handful of Fritos corn chips in there and I'd feel better about it. Narset, nice and common, and a soul diviner. Stack of basic lands. What a jip. Anyways, still hoping, still hoping for some luck here. Um, thing in the ice was the big hit out of this for a while. That was that's been a minute though. I don't I don't exactly know where a lot of this stuff is at. Maybe once I see a card, if it if it's good, I'll remember. Second harvest. 
Um, that might be good. It does stuff with tokens. And then we got our Japanese trick saving. A very like what is what is this pack even? What how does how does it get this loose and this busted? Like let's see if we can pop it. We did. We were able to pop it. Blew the end out of it. That's a neat trick I learned many moons ago. Um so can we get lucky? Looks like we got an electrolyze there. We have the Glyph Weaver. Uh, Blade Historian. No, it's a shock. Shock there. Nothing crazy. Pound Town Part 3. Uh, thank you guys for joining me. Um, this was just this was just for fun. We knew it was going to be bad. It turned out a lot better than we anticipated. If you'd like to get in on shenanigans, join the Facebook group, Cracking Packs MTG. If you don't mind, subscribe. Hit the thumbs up for the algorithm. It seems like my channel has been buried for a while. Um, almost going on there. Maybe I just don't make good content. Maybe I do. Maybe it's just the algorithm. Who knows? And also leave me a comment. That way you can get in on the giveaways. Thank you once again. We'll see you in the next one. I love your faces. Goodbye.